Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make a heart style kick in other terms a distorted kick. Simply all it is, it's uh, an 808 with some distortion. Now you can choose the distortion but the the template distortion that I use is very simple. It's in the logic presets when you go to distortion and you choose distortion so really it's super simple it takes about two minutes to make and you get a mean mean heart style kick from it which you can layer and so on and so forth so firstly what you want to do is load up your massive here I've got on the left side I've got a brand new one and on the right side I have a template that I've already made so if we hear it back this is what the sound is that you're gonna be getting apologize if the quality isn't very uh, high on there now first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose sine wave and wave tail position all the way to the left pitch it down to negative 24 and take your envelope one pitch it up 24 so you get a nice sharp kind of um, hit sound now with your envelope you want to make sure that this is the parameters that you've got on there on your envelope one so go ahead and copy those I'm just gonna do it right now all the way to the bottom maybe just a little bit just two nicks on the attack there and your level on the decay can be down it's right about 930 okay so without the distortion it would sound like this Right now, um, if we go ahead and if you hear that back, we don't quite have the sound yet, and that's mainly because of this envelope over here. So, on your envelope four, you want to make sure that it looks a little something like this. Bring your decay all the way and your level all the way down, and your release all the way. To one o'clock. That sounds well, right? Just give it a little bit more attack. Alrighty. Double check your envelopes here. Got this one and release is right there. Perfect. Okay, now that you have that, all you need to do is add a daft filter, route it all the way to filter one, bring your daft filter up. Keep your resonance down. Uh, other than that, you don't need much else. Now that you have this sound, just give it a little boost. Okay, so once you have that ready to go, I'm going to show you exactly the parameters for your distortion. So if I unbypass that and compare the two sounds. Okay, so all you got to do now is go ahead, choose distortion right here, and just copy the same parameters. So tone, 2900 hertz. Now the, the best part about this is you can automate the frequency of your tone. That way it feels like it's filtering in and then you can drop it to 2900 hertz. That's where I think it sounds best and then keep it going. On a regular four four to the floor pattern, uh, your drive on 23 dB, and your output negative five, even negative one, just because so it doesn't clip. You noticed earlier I got that clipping sound. ready to go here and basically that's how you make a heart style sound now 
if you don't have this distortion, if you don't have logic, you can still apply the same thing to Massive. Just choose a distortion that you like and throw on there and play around to see what it is. Uh, I've also added Air Windows' base kit to here. I'll uh, provide the link in uh, the description below. But really, without the base kit, with the base kit, I'm not sure how clear you can hear the difference, but I'll play it one more time. Versus. So slight difference, it just makes it a little juicier. Uh, you can also throw a limiter on there just to make sure it doesn't clip and everything else shall be good to go. If there's any other mixing you need to do, compressors and EQs will help you with that. But... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my website ViacomSounds.com if you have any questions or comments. Do leave them below or you can tweet at me at producer tips with two S's at the end. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.